Welcome to Misco Electric here. Today is April 13th, 2024, and this is The Current, weekly EV news. I hope you find this latest episode to be the most helpful 10 minutes of EV and electrification stories available anywhere. Let's kick off with some charging news. EVgo has extended their Auto Charge Plus compatibility to 50 EV models. Auto Charge Plus is similar to Plug and Charge. This allows vehicles to communicate with the charging station when plugged in so that initialization and payment require no additional action from drivers. EVgo says they plan to support Auto Charge Plus through its integrated NAX connectors as they are incorporated across their network. I'll add a link in the description below if you'd like to view the list of eligible vehicles and information on how to set up the program. Volt Post has announced the commercial availability of their curbside lamp post EV charging solution. The company retrofits lamp posts into modular and upgradable level 2 EV chargers and includes a platform powered by a mobile app. The company says this solution provides convenient and affordable charging while reducing the cost timing, and physical footprint of chargers. The installations take from one to two hours with no trenching or major construction. The units come with a charging station management system, which provides owner operators charging analytics, the ability to set pricing, and monitor the stations. Customers have the choice between a two or four port solution and the cables are retractable up to 20 feet. Volt Post was founded in 2021 in New York City and San Francisco and manufactures its chargers in the US. Over the last year, they have deployed pilot programs in New York and Detroit and have installations planned for those cities and Chicago in the upcoming year. Curbside EV charging in dense urban areas is just another way to make electric vehicles more accessible to the masses. When drivers match their dwell time with the activities they have planned throughout their day to charging speeds that align with those time commitments, range anxiety becomes a concern of the past. This week, a few small upgrades were announced for the 2025 Mercedes EQS and 2024 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Mercedes-Benz introduced some significant aesthetic changes to the EQS front fascia. For 2025, the luxury sedan will return to brand tradition with a three-pointed star hood ornament. Do you think the new look is a step forward? EQS will also get a few technology and comfort upgrades, including an all-new battery with increased capacity from 108.4 kilowatt hours to 118 kilowatt hours usable. Mercedes will improve regenerative braking performance too. The impact on range has yet to be specified, but the current model is rated up to 350 miles of range. Mercedes says all EQ vehicles on the EVA2 platform will benefit from similar 2025 updates. We look forward to seeing them on the road later this year. On to the American Muscle Utility. The 2024 Ford Mustang Mach-E has also received improvements in range, charging time, and acceleration. DC fast charging will be 20% faster from 10 to 80% in about 36 minutes with the extended range battery. That shaves off about 8 minutes from the current model figure. The EPA range has improved by 10 to 20 miles depending on the trim level. The Mach-E GT Performance will deliver a 3.3 second 0 to 60 mile per hour time, making it quicker than Tesla's Model Y Performance variant. This is partly due to Ford's lighter weight in-house developed rear E motor. The new motor delivers up to 100 foot-pounds more torque on certain trims but will be utilized by all 2025 trim levels. The performance upgrade comes standard with the new Mustang Mach-E Rally. Orders are now open for the Rally Edition, and I'll link in the description to my previous videos which go into detail on that version. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for some hands-on Mach-E Rally content coming soon. I have driven the Mach-E from New York to Los Angeles in the Charge Across America Rally and really enjoyed my experience. When I reviewed it, I said it needed a heat pump for better Michigan winter efficiency. Hopefully, that will be announced before too long. Ford has sweetened the deal on 2023 and 2024 models, including a $1,500 discount for current Tesla owners. This promotion is expected to end July 8th and can be stacked with other lease and bonus cash offers for MSRP discounts upward of $7,500. Ford has a no-haggle online buying portal. I've enjoyed transparent pricing from Tesla and Rivian, and this is a smart move for Ford too. I'll link the portal below if you want to check that out. 
Speaking of Tesla discounts, Elon Musk's company has dramatically reduced the cost of its monthly supervised full self-driving subscription from $199 to $99. This comes just one month after the release of the entirely neural net powered V12 update and a one month free trial for millions of FSD capable Teslas. The monthly price is expected to rise as the technology advances. Tesla's $12,000 lifetime purchase price has not changed. Would you pay $99 per month for FSD? Personally, when I owned my 2022 Model Y, I had basic autopilot. At that time, the system was not good enough to entice me to purchase FSD. Tesla recently retweeted an incredible story of a man experiencing a medical emergency who relied on supervised FSD to drive himself to the hospital and park the vehicle autonomously while he was in the emergency room. I'll link that story in the description. The pace of progress is accelerating at an astounding rate. When do you think capacity and policy will allow for unsupervised full self-driving? While we're on the topic of autonomous driving, I recently took an opportunity to demonstrate fully autonomous RV hitch docking with the chief technology officer at Pebble. His experience on the original Tesla autopilot team, as well as work with Volvo and Apple in the space, has contributed to a remarkable remote control experience with their upcoming Pebble Flow. I'll link my full walkthrough and the magic hitch demonstration in the description. Autonomous driving does not technologically require an electric drivetrain, but the leaders in that space have chosen to base their solutions on EV platforms. As the technology improves, it may be responsible for enticing new buyers to go electric. Alfa Romeo revealed their first all-electric model for the European market. The Milano is a compact utility smaller than its Stelvio and Tonale siblings. It is underpinned with its parent company Stellantis' eCMP platform, which also houses the Jeep Avenger and Fiat 600e. The all-electric version will have a 54 kilowatt hour battery and two front-wheel drive configurations. The Electrica trim will deliver up to 156 horsepower and the sportier Veloce trim will max out at 240 horsepower. The Milano will be able to charge at a maximum DC fast charging rate of 100 kilowatts and Alpha says 10 to 80% in under 30 minutes. The Alfa Romeo Milano EV orders will open in early summer in Europe and pricing will be announced closer to that date. Electric supercar maker Remats counts Volkswagen Group and Hyundai among its partners. This week, it announced a deal with BMW Group to co-develop and co-produce next-generation high-voltage battery technology. BMW has said this will not initially apply to upcoming Noya class of vehicles. Remotz CEO Mate Remotz says, My business journey began with a 1984 BMW 3 Series that I converted into an electric car in my garage at the age of 20, so it's a perfect piece of symmetry to partner with the BMW Group today. Remotz Technology is a division of the Remotz Group. The company reportedly wants to supply at least 100,000 batteries to OEMs annually by 2026. More details will be announced at a later date and I'll be sure to keep you updated when I learn more. Well, that's all for this week's edition of The Current. What other topics do you wanna hear about in this series? Please consider subscribing and sharing this video if you found some value in this coverage. We'll keep making them if we continue to see viewership grow. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, drive, fly, ride, go electric.